Okay. Today we're dealing with hypotheticals. All right, Alex, this one's for you. You got to pretend because you're... Well, no, no, no. Don't pretend. Don't pretend because I want you to use your age. All right. You're 25 years old. You're given a million dollars, but that is the last money you'll be given for the rest of your life. So there's no there's no more income coming in nowhere else. You got a million dollars. What would you do with the money? Can I make money off that money? Or is this just a million? It's just a million. You can't make you can't make nothing. It's just a million dollars. I would, how how would you survive? How would you survive to 70 years old? I would move out of the country. <laughs> uh, that's exactly what I would do. Um yeah. If if I and if I knew that that was the only money I could ever get again, like that was it. I, yeah, I would definitely move out of the country because I don't think I would be able to survive another forty five years on just that amount. So what would you do? Give me the rundown. Give me the rundown. So I mean, I know this is just off the cuff. I know this is just off the cuff. So, but you gotta think of it quick. Yeah, I know, right? Um. No, so I would I would move to, I mean the only country I know that I would move to it would be Colombia, I mean and I would just go through the process of, you know, becoming a citizen there, living there. Um, in Colombia, you can live off of, I would say live comfortably, off of a thousand a month. In Colombia, so thousand a month 12 grand a year that's you know 50 years go by it's like you know 600 grand so i would do something like that go to columbia um i mean really once once you're there every, everything is just cheaper it's just like transport is way cheaper food is cheaper so i i know that i wouldn't be able to survive in america so that wouldn't even be like a, a plan for me to try and figure out. I just wouldn't, I'd just be out of here. <laughs> so I would go to Colombia then, but I wouldn't be living like anything lavish. I just live in a regular apartment there and then that's it. Just go day by day, just budgeting. So. That is, that's very interesting. So what would you do if you had to stay in America too? If I threw that extra parameter in there, if you stayed in America, what would you do? If I had to stay in America, I think my best bet would move somewhere very remote, like Arkansas or like Louisiana, Georgia, like somewhere around there where the cost of living is way cheaper. And I would probably try and get roommates to room with so that that cost comes down because the rule is you can't you can't make more money but it doesn't say you can't uh you know cut cut expenses so I'd get, I would room with people um and I mean food utilities I mean that stuff's kind of the same I would try and not have to depend on some form of transportation. I mean, especially if I'm if I'm not working, you know, if that million is the only money I have, then I won't like have to go to to and from work. So maybe be somewhere that's you know not like in the middle of the woods, but you know, I can if I wanted to go do something, I I, I can access that by just walking. But I mean Right. And and then so the reason why I asked this and I put it in context and this especially for remote workers. So just so you understand, if you made fifty thousand dollars a year for forty five years, that's two point two million, right? I mean, when that's not factoring in taxes, that's two point two million. But in everybody's life, for the most part, you know using you know 35 thirty thousand dollars a year a million dollars is what you're going to have in your lifetime 
you can't get no more money besides the for most part for most people the money that they work for is the most money that they have is so if you had a million dollars right now what would you do is the same if you work for a job paying thirty thousand dollars a year for the next 45 years what would you do that's all people have to look at and then i just wanted to know your understanding but like you said you didn't you can't make no more money but making your expenses cheaper um when it comes to me uh if let's just say i had a million dollars same parameters i couldn't leave the united states the first thing i would do is like you said i would i would buy something multifamily. i can't make no money but i wouldn't have any expenses either so i would ensure that the the tenants or i would ensure that you know let's just say if i had family in there they was covering all the expenses and then but they have a place to stay they can work they can do whatever i just could make a profit off of it so i would make the cost of living cheaper and that transcends to what most americans are doing today most americans in their lifetime they will achieve i mean working you know working over there you know 20 to 60 they will come across a million dollars if they add up all their paychecks what are, what would you do with it if you just had it in one lump sum and you didn't you couldn't make any more income it's the same analogy i mean most people ain't going you know think outside the box and say oh you know get rentals create passive income is people need to have that mindset and understanding of money is finite if you're working for it that's what it is it's finite it's infinite if everybody's working for it to create it, but most people only look at money as the money that you work for. I mean, Alex, think of the circle that you know. How many people are making money outside of their job? Yeah. See what I'm saying? Right. That, that's it. So over a time, and I always have this exercise, well, not exercise, but I always ask my family, if you have a million dollars and you couldn't make no more. What would you do? Oh, they come with, with all the complex plans. They they got it all. They got it all figured out. Oh, I would invest in this and I'll invest in this. And then so the only question I have is why aren't you why aren't you investing now? It's the same money. You just get it all front loaded instead of back loaded. But I'm guaranteeing if most Americans had that money up front, of course they wouldn't be working. They would they would be jet flying, limousine riding, Rolex wearing, son of a gun, like Ric Flair, <laughs> you know. And then they'll be broke. They'll be they'll be broke. You, we talking about you at twenty five. They'll be broke before they thirty. And most people are, because of the financial decisions they made before they're thirty, they're broke the rest of their life because of the financial decisions they made before they was thirty years old. That is the sad reality of what we live in. But like you i would i would i wouldn't leave the country i just wouldn't because of course i i just realized in america the more you don't do nothing the more you get paid from the government so i know somebody saved me somewhere <laughs> um but remove it to a re remote location you know some outskirts in oklahoma some lower skirts of georgia uh i would buy something and just make sure everybody pay for it and then let's say let's just say it's 10 12 units you know of course i can't in this scenario i can't uh push it over to make cash flow but i'll make sure it pays for everything that's in the facility so that'll leave me with you know let's just say roughly a half million dollars left after i pay for that so now my living situation is situated hopefully i get two ones at least you know in case you know i get frisky and I have a kid or something but i would have two ones across the board or higher and then with the half million dollars left i would just pay for the bare necessities that sounds like what everybody else in america is doing they but they but they have the credit cards and everything else to push it over to the max but that scenario is really what the dynamic that we're living in I always ask people if if you had this money now what would you do and they would always have exquisite plans but they don't have the exquisite plans because they get it in pieces 
I mean, I figured if I didn't put the parameters on you, you'd be like, oh, I'll just go buy a couple rentals, have the cash flow coming in, paying for my life, and then I'll just, you know, do whatever. That that would make sense. But most people won't do that now. I mean, you probably got exotic with it. Oh, I would have bought some stocks, sold some options on top of that, did this. The only thing people say, I would invest. Invest in what? Then they have no clue because they do not search for any financial information outside of the elementary, middle, or high school that they graduated from or, or dropped out of school from. That's the dynamic that people don't understand and they don't get the concept until it's staring them smack dab in the face. And then they left with nothing, but then it's too late because they're 65, 70 and they're wondering what they'll have. So I hope that made sense. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.